Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Ishan and today I just want to talk about why Python as a language is so popular in 2020 right now. Um, you must have seen a lot of uh, st statistics where they say that Python is the best language for you to learn right now. And uh, you might have thought, why is it so? Why is Python the best language out there? Well, first of all, I just want to tell you that Python is not the fastest language out there. In fact, it is actually quite slow. Right? When you compare this language with some other languages like C++ and Java, you will realize that, that Python is three times slower than these other languages. So why is it really the most famous and the most popular language right now in 2020? Well, I think there are three reasons right now that we can point to which uh, tell us the whole story about Python and why is it so damn popular. Number one is the fact that it is such an easy to learn language. That is uh, probably the reason why I myself started learning Python as my first language. I mean, I was having some experience with Java and uh, C++, but uh, yeah, the Python was pretty much the first proper language that I learned, right? So. I think it's actually very much simpler for you to learn Python because of its uh, it, it is very much similar to English okay it is a it is a high level language which means it resembles English more than it does a machine language if you uh, have ever studied you know computer science you know that machine language is basically ones and zeros and so if you look at Python it looks a lot more like English okay it's, it seems like it, you're almost writing English and you're giving commands to the computer in English and that is pro that is basically the reason why it is so slow because the more more a language is similar to English, the more a uh, computer has to uh, take time to understand it properly. That is just how a very uh, you know layman uh, way to explain it to you all. So yeah, that is uh, just one reason why it is so uh, you know popular. It is very much simpler for you to learn. The second reason why I think it is such a you know popular language is because it has very less development time. When you think about it, uh, it is very uh, you know you have to write very less amounts of code in order for you to run a Python program. When you compare it to other languages like C++ and Java, you'll be writing, uh, let's just say, 100 lines of code and you can execute and you can do the same function that 100 lines of Java code does in, let's just say, 10 lines of code in Python. And so that means that you are getting stuff done quickly, okay? You don't have to keep waiting uh, and keep writing long, uh, you know, lines of code all day. You can actually get your app, run, uh, you know, up and running for very less amount of code and it is very much simpler to understand as well. So that is just uh, the second reason why it is uh, preferred right now. A lot of people when they think about building their own website or their uh, mobile app, they look at how much time will it take for them to get started with it. Okay, so let's just say that using Java would take them around six months. Using Python will take them substantially less amount of time because it's just such a simple and less code language for you to write. So that is just another reason why it is such a preferred language. The third reason why I feel like it is such a uh, you know, popular language is because it has a very large community and uh, there's just a lot of resources available for you to get started with it. You know, uh, internet is filled with people teaching you how to start learning Python like me, right? You can find uh, videos, you can find articles, you can find podcasts. Um, it's just, it's just, there, there are just like a lot of resources for you to learn this language and the community of developers that are, you know, supporting Python. If you just go to GitHub and go for Python Foundation, you can find a huge, huge repository of uh, Python. And uh, every single month, there are a bunch of changes that are happening in there. There are new releases coming out. Uh, one year ago, it was at 3.6, I think, uh, the version of Python. And right now it is at about 3.8. And there are also some uh, beta versions coming out, 3.9 and all. So the people, there are a lot of people out there that are, you know, supporting this language right now and it is getting constant updates. And uh, so, yeah, that is, uh, that just makes it easier for everyone to learn this language. When there are, uh, it, it sort of becomes like a snowball effect, right? When there are uh, 50 developers, uh, they'll teach you, it will be much, much easier for you to support that language uh, versus when there are not as many people learning another language. So yeah guys, that is just uh, something I wanted for you all to understand because before learning Python, you should understand why Python is so famous. It is not a fast language, right? It is definitely a slow language. In fact, it is one of the slowest languages out there, but it is uh, useful for when you have to, you know, get stuff done quick, when you just want to, uh, when, when uh, efficiency 
is and sustainability is not an issue for you you can definitely go with python if you are looking out for uh building apps that require for you to be very much efficient and very much fast you know let's just say like a search engine and all you really have to go for c++ or java because those are really fast languages and uh, yeah that's just why python is not good for that but other than that uh Python is a very much a great uh, language for you to start off with. Now, people, uh, you know, when they start off with Java, they will have to write uh, some, you know, uh, some boilerplate code like, you know, what what is it? Void static main uh, string a arguments, and then they'll start writing print uh, ln and dot out, right? So that uh, people kind of don't understand what that means, right? People don't understand what that really means. You will be able to understand it after a good amount of time, right? When you are uh, much deeper into the language, that is when you'll understand what void static main means and what uh, string arguments mean, right? You won't be able to understand it right in the first. place and when you look at python you just have to write down print hello world and that is your first program that becomes much more uh, you know friendly for someone that is trying to learn that language so yeah that's just uh, the three reasons that i think python is such a uh, popular language right now in 2020 and every single company every single big tech company is using this language for their own code base i hope you learned something from this video if you did uh, make sure that you leave a like down below subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have already learned python or like what do you think about python as a as a language for development uh, yeah thank you so much for listening and i will see you in the next one bye bye